Hi there. Welcome to Mr. A Square Tech Channel and my robotic voice. In this video you will learn how to transfer the WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. Let's get started. Make sure you watch the video till the end. And do not skip any step. Open Play Store on your Android device. And search for WhatsApper. Click on Install. You might have had so many doubts about this application. Like whether it is safe or not. What if my data gets lost? But trust me this very safe application made by Wondershare developers. It is known for producing softwares like Filmora, Dr. Phone etc. So this method is authenticated and it is very safe. Just go ahead and install the application. After installation, click on Open. Click on Allow. Click on Allow again. I need to tell you something here. Now, we are about to transfer the WhatsApp videos, photos, voice notes and every chat message from Android to iPhone using an OTG adapter. Please pause the video and find out what is the OTG adapter you require from the stable. Mine falls under the last case. By the way, OTG adapter is a must-have accessory nowadays. Go ahead and click on Yes. Click on Continue. Here, you need to enter the WhatsApp phone number. Click on OK. Click on OK again. You will receive an OTP code to your phone. You need to input the code here. Once it is done, click on Next. Now it is the time to connect the OTG cable. My cable is Type-C to Lightning. I have connected the Type-C end to the Android phone and Lightning end to the iPhone. Once cables are connected, it asks something like this on the Android device. Click on OK and select WhatsApper. On your iPhone, once the cable is connected then this pop-up will appear. Click on Trust. It will ask for the passcode. Enter the iPhone passcode. Let's go back to Android phone. Now you should see connection successful message. After successful connection, you will see what are the number of videos, photos, audio notes and documents you have on your WhatsApp. Click on Start Transfer. It asks for the confirmation, just click on yes. Click on confirm. Click on OK. Now the WhatsApp data transfer has been started. After a while, you will see this notification on Android phone. Which means, you need to turn off Find My iPhone setting on the iPhone. I will show you how. Let's go back to iPhone. Open settings. Click on your username. Click on Find My. Click on Find My iPhone. Turn off this setting. You will be asked for the password. Enter the password that you will use to log into your Apple account. After that it will turn off. Now let's go back to the Android. Once the setting was turned off, the process will be resumed. On your iPhone, you will be seeing restore in progress. Do not disconnect the cable until the process is completed. Otherwise you need to do it from step 1. This takes anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes or even more than that. Depending on your WhatsApp data size. Once the transfer is completed, you will see this screen on your Android phone. While on the other hand, your iPhone will start rebooting. Now, open WhatsApp. Click on Agree and Continue. Click on Allow and enter your WhatsApp phone number. Now you will receive a code to your phone. Enter the code. Click on Done. You will be redirected to Edit Profile. Enter your profile name and click on Done. All your WhatsApp data is transferred from Android to iPhone. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and successfully transferred all your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. 
If you get any doubts during the process, please comment them. So I can help you out. Thanks for watching, and please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in another video with my robotic voice.